Hello everyone, my name is Elaine and I am one of the Chaz volunteers and I love sharing stories with you. And today, when I look outside my window, it's sunny, which is a lovely change. So after I've read you this story, I'm going to go out into the sunshine. And I'm very lucky because I don't live very far from a beach, so I'm going to take a walk down to the beach. But I'm rather hoping when I go to the beach, I don't meet a creature like the one in today's story. And today's story is called Clumsy Crab by Ruth Galloway. And I don't really think I want to meet a crab with quite such big pincers on my walk. Maybe I do. It'd be lovely to look at, but I think they're most likely going to be in the sea. And I'm not going to be paddling in the sea, to be quite honest. It's still quite cold. So this is Clumsy Crab, and it has amazingly colourful illustrations. Beautiful illustrations in this book, really, really bright. Lots of lovely shells, lots of creatures under the sea. So let's enjoy Clumsy Crab. Nipper the Crab hated his huge clumsy claws. However hard he tried, they always seemed to get in the way. None of his friends had clumsy claws. He wished he had tickly tentacles, like octopus and jellyfish, or perhaps flippity fins, like turtle and fish. One day, Nipper was playing Catch the Bubble with his friends. This looks like a good game. Maybe you could go outside if you've got some bubbles and blow some bubbles and see if you can catch them. I wonder what's going to happen in this game with Nipper and his friends. There's Turtle, Nipper, Octopus and Jellyfish. Looks like they're having great fun. But oh dear. His clumsy claws popped the bubble. Hmm. They couldn't play that game anymore, so they decided to play chase instead. Nipper scuttled off sideways, but one of his clumsy claws got in the way. And whoosh, swoosh. He slipped and stumbled tripped and tumbled whoa, until he was buried up to his eyes in the sand and Turtle had to dig him out with his flippers. So they decided to play hide and seek instead. Octopus hid his eyes and counted to ten and all the creatures went to hide. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming! Ready or not? Crab climbed into a big clamshell and pulled it shut. It was the perfect hiding place. I wonder if Octopus will find him. But Nipper's clumsy claws shattered the shell into hundreds of tiny pieces. Ouch! he cried. Oh, Nipper sighed. If only I didn't have these claws, I'd be good at hide and seek. Don't worry, Nipper, said Jellyfish, picking up the pieces of shell. We'll hide and you can come and find us. So Nipper counted to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not? He searched in the sand and he found Turtle. He searched under the shells 
and he found jellyfish. He searched up and down, in and out and under the rocks. But he couldn't find octopus anywhere. I wonder where octopus is. You have a good look. Where is octopus? I can't find him anywhere. Where might he be? Oh, good looking. Then they heard a cry. <gasps> octopus was tightly tangled in some seaweed. Help! Help! He cried. Octopus squirmed and squiggled, wriggled and jiggled, and turtle and jellyfish tried to help, but the knots just got tighter and tighter and tighter. Help! Help! said Octopus. Then Nipper had a great idea. What do you think his good idea is going to be? He gently nipped at the seaweed with his claws and small pieces floated away faster and faster. Nipper danced around the clump of seaweed. His claws moved quickly, slashing and slicing, shredding and dicing, until the sea was filled with pieces of seaweed swirling all around. Octopus was finally freed. Thank you, you clever crab, he cheered. Nipper waved his claws happily. At last, he knew how useful they could be. Oh, there he is. And there we've got our lovely under the sea picture to finish. wonder what you can spot. You see the starfish? Perhaps you could have a game of hide and seek today. Are you good at hiding? Are you good at counting to ten? See if you can find a good place to hide. Bye for now.